Okay, super fun vegetable that you may not have seen here that I'm going to show you today. If you've ever heard of kaleettes or kale sprouts, that is what these are. And for the past couple years, I've been seeing more and more kind of broadline purveyors uh, start to carry these as a specialty product. And I've also seen a number of farmers around here in Minnesota and Wisconsin start to carry them too. And what they advertise them as is a cross between Brussels sprouts and kale. So I kind of always thought, oh, it's going to be some specialty seed. It's going to be, you know, it's going to require some extra sort of steps to grow because it's some sort of cross. I didn't really look into it too much. But I was in the garden the other day at my girlfriend's farm and I was looking at the kale plants and I saw they were growing kale sprouts after we had harvested all of the mature kale leaves there were sprouts and I put two and two together that the only relation that kale sprouts really have to being a cross of Brussels sprouts is in the time at which you harvest them. So Brussels sprouts will eventually grow big and will kind of be like a cabbage. Kale will grow big and have big kale leaves, but when the kale is immature, or when you want to harvest some early, you just cut the sprouts. So they're super good, super, super fun, and how you cook them, you can't just throw these in a pan and cook them like a Brussels sprout because as you can see here, ooh, this is one from the top. The sprouts on the top are a lot of fun. But if you cut sprouts off of the top, know that that can kind of hinder growth. So I just cut them off the sides of the stalk. But you can see we have a stalk here and then we also have leaves. So we have two different cooking times in one little vegetable here. So what you want to do to kind of make the cooking times coincide is I like to take a little sharp paring knife and I just make a cross cut in the stem. Okay. Then I take a pan and I put a little pat of butter in it I warm it up, I heat them up, hit them with a pinch of salt, and then like just a tablespoon of water, and then cover the pan. So you kind of want to steam, steam them with a gentle heat, just until they're tender, and you want to make sure not to overcook them because then the leaves will start to deteriorate and kind of get mushy. But you just cover that pan and steam them up real quick and these things are really really good so there you go if you got a friend with a garden or you know someone of the farm that grows kale go out there sometime during the growing season and get yourself a kale sprout